Welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm going to show you how to butterfly, stuff, and smoke a pork loin to moist and tender perfection. This is a perfect recipe to feed a crowd any time of the year, and especially during the holidays. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is butterfly the pork loin. Here I have a half a pork loin that weighs about three and a half pounds. The first thing I'm going to do with a very sharp knife is make a cut about a half inch deep down the length of the loin. It doesn't matter where you make your first cut as long as it's straight. Now you simply want to continue making these long, shallow cuts down the length of the loin and unroll the meat as you cut. You want to try to keep the meat around a half inch thick or so. Not too thin and not too thick. As long as you have a sharp knife, take your time and make shallow cuts, this is a lot easier than it sounds. For the sake of time, I'm just going to speed this up just a bit. Once the pork loin is butterflied and laid out nicely, I'm going to season the inside with salt and pepper. Now I'm adding a thin layer of my Granny Smith apple and sausage cornbread stuffing. For a full printable copy of this recipe and many more, visit the Wolf Pit blog. Also, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos. If you don't want the stuffing to stick to your hands like it is mine, keep your hands damp with water. You only want to add enough stuffing to cover about three quarters of the pork loin. That way when you roll it up, it doesn't push it all out. And now you simply want to roll it all back up fairly tight, but not too tight, otherwise it'll push all the stuffing out of the ends. When you're done rolling it back together, it should look just like it did before you cut it open. Now I'm going to tie it back up to hold it together and hold all the stuffing in. There's a couple different ways you can tie your loin. You can go the fancy route and use one long, continuous piece of butcher's loin, or you can use several pieces, which I'm going to do today, and it's a lot simpler. Here's the simple way. You simply take a piece of string that's long enough to wrap around the loin and tie it into a square knot. Cut off the excess string and continue this process about every inch or so. I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to see how to do it with one long, continuous piece of butcher's loin. Once it's tied back up nice and tight, salt and pepper all sides. Now I'm going to preheat my Rectech RT300 pellet grill to 250 degrees. That's just a matter of pushing a couple buttons. If you can operate an oven, you can operate a Rectech. And speaking of ovens, if you don't have a smoker or you don't want to do this on a smoker, I'll leave a link in the description box on how to do this in the oven. Once the Rectech is preheated to 250 degrees, I'm going to add the loin. For the smoke wood, I'm using Rectex Perfect Mix Pellets, which is a combination of maple, hickory, cherry, and apple for that nice sweet smoke flavor. Now I'm going to add my meat probe to the thickest part of the loin. Now close the lid and let the smoke at 250 degrees for two to two and a half hours or until the internal temperature reaches 140 degrees. After two hours and 15 minutes, the loin is at 140 degrees. Now I'm going to tint with foil and let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before slicing. Now when you slice your loin, you don't want to slice it too thin, otherwise the slices will fall apart. But you can slice it as thick as you like. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. And there you have it. A smoked pork loin stuffed with Granny Smith apple and sausage cornbread stuffing. This stuffed pork loin was smoky, moist and tender, and absolutely delicious. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps 
me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.